Hey, in this video we're going to learn how to simplify certain matrix expressions. And what I mean by that is if we have the expression, let's say we have these two matrix, matrices A and B, and we want to find what B minus 2A is. Okay. Now, we have two different uh, types of um, matrix mathematics in here. We have subtraction of two matrices, but before we do that, we have a scalar multiplication. So we have two times the matrix A. So let's go ahead and set this up. So I have matrix B, which is 1, 4, 0, 2, minus two times my A matrix, 1, negative 3, negative 2, 0. Now, just like in regular um, real numbers, we have to follow the order of operations. So to solve this or simplify this expression, we have to do the matrix scalar multiplication first. So I'm going to distribute this negative 2. Now, you can think of this two different ways. We could subtract the matrix that resulted from 2 distributed to everything, or we could add the next matrix. Oops, excuse me. Or we could add the matrix that results from distributing this negative 2. Now I'm going to do it this way. It just depends on what you like to do. You can either distribute a positive 2 and then subtract the two matrices, or you can distribute the negative 2 and then add. Whatever you do, you have to make sure you account for this negative here, if there is one. So what I'm going to do, distribute a negative 2. So I'm going to flip the sign and multiply by 2. So we'll get positive 6, positive 4, and then anything times 0 is 0. And now we just have basic matrix addition, which this is going to be pretty simple here. 1 plus negative 2 is going to be negative 1. 4 plus 6 is 10. 0 plus 4 is 4. And then 2 plus 0 is 2. And there I have it. I've successfully simplified that expression. Okay, so now let's look at this. Let's do, um, excuse me here. All right, so I, go, I went ahead and cleared the uh, screen, and I'm going to do one more expression for you. So let's say this one's just a little bit more difficult. So we had A times B, and we're going to subtract the multiplication of B times A. Now, we need to make sure that we can actually, in fact, do this multiplication. Now remember, in order to multiply two matrices together, we need to compare the inside numbers. So A times B, 2 by 2 is the A, and matrix B is 2 by 2. So the inside here is the same, so we can multiply these together. Now, if we were to switch them again, so if we were to write this as a 2 by 2, and this is a 2 by 2 as well. Now, this is B times A right here is what we're doing. So if we switched these two around, again, notice, obviously, since they're square matrices, the inside numbers are the same. Now, let's take, for example, if B was a 2 by 3 matrix. So just hypothetically, I just kind of want to show what might happen. If this is a 2 by 2, and if matrix B was 2 by 3, we could multiply A times B, because here in this order, 2 and 2 are the same. But here, B and A, if we were to do this, that would be looking like this. And notice the inside numbers do not match anymore. So we could not multiply that, okay? But again, that's all hypothetical. Both of these matrices are square matrices, so we can multiply them both ways. So I want to go ahead and do this multiplication. Um, so I'm going to move this up here real quick. And I'm going to rewrite the equation of how it would be, how it would look. So we'd have the matrix A, 1, negative 3, negative 2, 0. The matrix B, 1, 4, 0, 2. Minus... And we're going to flip it. 1, 4, 0, 2. 
and 1, negative 3, negative 2, 0. And so hopefully this will also show you that matrix multiplication is not, uh, gosh dang it, brain freeze, forgot the word, is not commutative. Sorry about that. So it's not commutative because we can't change the order and get the same answer. So A times B is not the same as B times A. And we're going to look at that and see what we'll get here. Now remember, we did matrix multiplication earlier. So I'm going to go through this a little bit quicker. And I'm going to do a couple things at the same time just to save a little bit of time. So I'm going to have this first 1 times 1 is 1 plus anything times 0 here is 0. So this first term, oops, this first term again will be 1. So now I'm going to go to the second row. So 1 times 4 is 4 plus negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. So 4 plus negative 6, that will give me a negative 2. Okay, so I've done both columns here, so now I'm going to go to row 2. So negative 2 times 1 and both 0, so negative 2 is, is it. And then I go negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, and we're going to get 0 here, so it's just negative 8. Minus, and now again here, do the multiplication. 1 times 1 plus 4 times 2 is 8, so 1 plus 8 is 9. Go to the second row here. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3 plus, hey, there's a 0 here, so that's 0. So negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3. And now I go to the second row over here. So 0, that's going to be 0, plus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And then, now if you look at this, 0 times negative 3 is 0, 2 times 0, 0. So that's just 0. So notice we got different matrices, and so now we're just going to subtract. And again, I'm going to do this rather quickly. I'm not going to show the full steps because that is a different video. So 1 minus 9, so 1 minus 9 is negative 8. Negative 2 minus a negative 3. So minus a negative, we add 3. So negative 2 plus 3 will give me 1. Negative 2 minus a negative 4 is going to be plus 4. That will give me 2. And negative 8 minus 0 stays negative 8, and there is my solution. So again, remember, order of operations, we had to do the multiplication first and then the subtraction after. Thanks for watching.